what's up this is a true video on how to make vanilla minecraft server on linux i'm currently using the debian version of linux but this works on basically i think every version of linux but go to minecraft.net you do not have to be logged in click on the download button under play minecraft and on, under multiplayer server you want to download minecraft underscore server jar click on it it downloads fairly quickly and then you can close out of whatever internet browser you're using places download minecraft server and this is when I advise making a new folder on the desktop just named server or vanilla server whatever fits your needs drag the minecraft server jar into there close your downloads folder and I made a pre-made script file script files is what you have to make in order to initiate the server jar and basically it just consists of you just create a new text document and just put the um, ntag.sh on it if I will if this actually works um, alright display sorry there anyways you're just going to want to use this command line I will copy and paste this into the description below and right there is where you specify your amount of RAM and megabytes that you want to run microserver.jar as long as it stays that it will work and then no JLine and no GUI alright and you just save that as an SH file, close that, and then you want to right click and on properties under permissions, make sure you can allow executing file as program. If you do that, that's when you actually double click it, you click run in terminal, it runs it in terminal, and this is when it starts your Minecraft server. And I put no GUI, but um, it doesn't care, I don't think it must just be with another type of server, but anyways, so you'll get both of these wonderful. There's probably something, a new command line that disables it, but I have no idea. But anyways, this is this is pretty nice, in my opinion. I like it. I've never run a vanilla server on this one. Yeah, and it's lagging. <laughs> but anyways, when you first start it up, it makes these new text files, and you just stop the server by typing in stop, and don't ever just X out. It's got to save the chunks, because then you can make your world mess up. But anyways, and then... Ban IPs, ban players, all this stuff self explanatory. Server doesn't start for some reason, all the error reportings in the server log. Server properties file. This is one thing I would like to show you guys. Alright, anyways, now nether. Let's feel the nether on or off. What you want your world name. If you want flight to kick people or not, usually it's set to false. And then default port, I'd leave it at that. Unless you have to change it because you're using the port for something else. Level seed, if you want to put a specific seed to generate the world in. That's fine too. Server IP. Common misconception is you put an IP address here. Well, I mean, you can, it'll work, but my advice leave it blank. It will still work just fine. And then all this stuff self explanatory, you read it. PUP, true means it's on, false means it's off. Difficulty, one, peaceful, two, normal, three, it's hard. Game mode, if this is zero, that means they spawn in survival. If it's on one, that means your player spawn in creative. Max players, I usually set that to 12 or 18, just 8, whatever you want, depending on how big you have and how much memory and how good your internet is. Generate structures, that's like NPC villages. View distance, I recommend setting this to 8, especially if you're running a home server with, or you have bad internet connection, and because that reduces your bandwidth and makes players less laggy. Alright, and then... I did this on my Windows video. What is up with me? MOTD. When people actually go to look at your server IP, that's what they see. Alright. And I currently don't have the Minecraft client, but basically you just launch the Minecraft client on this, and you go to the multiplayer server, you just type in, like, whatever you want to call it, your server, and then you can use, type in the words localhost is one word, or you can just type in quadruple zeros with periods in between. So 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. And you can connect to your server. And in order for other people to connect to your server, you must first put forward. And that will be in another video. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.